Whose turn is it? I think mine. Just in case we warn you, sometimes there are bright flashes and loud sound effects. Some visual images may seem too brutal. They aren't. They aren't, though. They just seem that yeah, way. Yeah, they just seem like that. Uh, <laughs> she put a little I, bit too can much. Can I help you? Rouge on today. Hey there, buddy. It's good that I found you just in time. That your mission is to infiltrate Rocky's Black Battalion and to make amends. Our agent, Academic, is a Rocky's old friend. Winning Academic's trust is like getting an entry pass to the Black Battalion. By the way, the train no longer stops in the city because of the rebellion. So get up, take all your courage, and jump off the car. <laughs> Wait. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, what, what is, is that on, on the head? table? What's on his head? That's what I said. Uh, I know the thing on the table is a food ration, but I don't know. It looks like he has like a little Christmas present on his head. That's like one of those old-fashioned cookie tins that, like, great-grandmas have. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I- I- no, I wanted to- They don't even let you control when you jump up. What? <laughs> uh, that's how- that's how the mod begins? Yo. We tripping now. Hypnotic LSD wheel and blunt force trauma to the head. A typical Tuesday. Maybe in the 1970s. Get up! Why did you jump off the train? This is an industrial. Because the lady told me to. Because <laughs> some lady told. Me. I'll be fine. I'm. There is no way. I. I mean. I'm not even sure if I'm still alive. If I'm being honest. Oh uh, no, they're good. What do you- Okay, I thought you were actually gonna kill yourself. Kill, fall down. That is indeed what happens when you kill someone. How much you wanna bet the mod's gonna end with a- It was all a dream, uh, trope. Yeah, we- We fell asleep on the train, and that was the end of it. Oh uh, no, I was gonna say that we hit our head and we hallucinated all of this. Oh uh, no. Not enough water. I feel like we could have gone without the visual aids with these. They just beat everyone. Excitement plus weapons equals riot. <laughs> oh, is this what the what? What? I wanna I thought we were gonna use like this as our crowbar replacement and I was like, dang, that's gonna be janky. No, Source Engine doesn't have accommodation for handsaws. Trying to kill Metro Cops with a handsaw. It takes a little while. It takes a little while and they have to stand completely still. Did he just did... litter or did he drop something helpful for us? I think he died. What? I'm pretty <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he just dropped all this stuff and died. I mean, your muscles <laughs> We just do witnessed fail. a man uh, die of a heart attack. I think he just had attack. a heart attack, yeah. Lord knows why he was holding his briefcase out the window. <laughs> and his books. And, wait, did I just see a human spine as well? Cop, why does the... this mod have very positive reviews? <laughs> it's... It's odd. This is one of those mods where I think things are just gonna happen despite the fact that there's no explanation for them happening. Wait, wait, read the newsprint. Terrorists uh, activity. Keep, keep calm. calm. Overwatch oh. ensures For safe a second delivery. I thought for sure it said keep clam. The delivery of rescue water by railroad has been slowed by an anti-citizen terroristic activity. Oh. Okay. Is terroristic a word? I don't think so. That's that's just turning the word terrorist into an adjective. Uh, why is why is his front door upholstered? Like Is there any he... country where they do that? <laughs> I, I don't think so. It's just weird. I made a door out of my couch. I'll cover you. Very impotent. Stealing innocent children's teddy bears. Look, there ain't no children anymore. He was hanging on to it from when he was small child. Well, now we are small child. 
Oh no, this guy is coming. We are a small child who just jumped off a train. Yep. Throw me three missiles, and then I'll blow this APC to hell! <laughs> Throw me three missiles. Cash. Yeah, okay. we're trying to throw them to you. You're just a, you're just a bad catch. <laughs> you're saying just a bad person. There is Yo, no he... way you reloaded that fast. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh no, his ketchup is leaking. All right, now come on. New riflemen are always welcome. This isn't a rifle. Yeah, well, it's not a pistol, so close enough. He's like, new riflemen are always welcome, but we didn't give you a rifle, so you're not welcome. Uh, wait, can you aim down sights? Oh, heck yeah. I'm surprised this mod didn't get completely negative reviews specifically just because of that. Like, the mod could have been immaculate, but the Half-Life fans would have given it 0 out of 10 just because you can aim down sights. Yeah, we don't, we don't discuss the uh, good gameplay elements in this community. <laughs> oh boy, that's a controversial statement. That ship has sailed. Me avoiding controversy within the Half-Life community specifically. I've given up. Well, nobody watched the video where you did that, so... This is the this is your second chance at peeving this off the entire. This is my community. second chance. Uh oh. Those handprints are a clue. Hold on, I I saw the handprints, but I did not process them. I think you're supposed to crouch, <laughs> so you don't get killed. What would? Now why would you say that? I'm glad you got back without a scratch. Almost. Wait, is he saying he's almost glad, or that you're almost or, without or a scratch? Almost no scratches, yeah. It wasn't very <laughs> clear. I feel semi-threatened now. Wrong way. Dang it. Ah! I almost couldn't handle that mild jump scare. Oh no, Teddy just Blake. left the call immediately and kicked me out of parsec. <laughs> That's a little bit of an overreaction. Um, don't trip the wire with Teddy. I'm a genius today. Shh. No, Imagine Teddy. that scene from that Combine's perspective. Dude with a teddy bear opens the door and then he just keeps shushing you for like 12 seconds straight. And then shoots you in the face. All right, let's go, comrades. What happened here? Gas? <laughs> God knows. We're just electricians. Would you like to join the resistance? <laughs> We've got children, wives. Wait, they have children? I was gonna say what? <laughs> well, maybe maybe their kids are adults. Maybe yeah, maybe. Just old. There's plenty children. of old children. He around. was getting stuck on Teddy. <laughs> Are Mannequins. Tasks. Oh dang, I didn't know you were taking such detailed notes this whole time. I should earn his trust and then he will vouch for me. Who? I don't know. Attack! Attack! We gotta keep our boys alive. These aren't our boys. They're somebody's boys. <laughs> These are the old children. This is some pretty sick Middle Eastern jams. Oh yeah. And the yard is ours. He's really excited <laughs> for that. I don't think I've ever seen anybody bust open a door with like the butt of their gun. Also, I'm pretty sure that door was unlocked. It just opened really slowly. Resist the combine. What is left after us? Do you know what that means? No. This guy looks like somebody. Like somebody yeah, I Yeah, that's... Oh. I'm glad you clarified, because I'm like, that's... That's just how people work. <laughs> this guy doesn't look like anyone. <laughs> that would have taken 30 whole seconds. This is, uh, our war. Well, it's the lambda sign, so it's L. Maybe they're trying to say that this uh, this war is only gonna last an hour, because the first one lasted seven. Let him have a shotgun. That will make him famous. 
Yeah, let him have a shotgun. Why do we just have a prospector? <laughs> Billy Mays? Wait, what does this side of the banner say? Keep this planet clean. And they're throwing away the combine symbol. They really like drawing pictures in this mod. <laughs> hey, someone, can the mechanics work? What? What? Do the mechanics work as their way of asking us to refill the, the car? No, it's clearly asking to tape the car. Oh, we gotta duct tape the, the leak. Also, why do they need us for this? Because we're the mechanic work. Does science work? Do you think that's the reason? I almost just tossed Teddy up into the garbage truck. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I almost let the intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> okay, uh... We gotta name this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's chill. Carl. I thought you were gonna say Wally, and I was gonna, like, give you so many points for that. I don't think in puns like you do. <laughs> No, don't kill Wally. No, he's no longer chill. No, no, he's not. Well, that was the short lived. His character scripted arc. event came and went. Wait, where'd the bear go? Did you see where I dropped him? I wasn't paying attention. Look over by the missile launcher. <laughs> where'd I leave my teddy bear? Look over, over by the missile launcher. Did the truck run over him? The truck ran over somebody. Teddy! <laughs> Are you under there? Mom, I, I left my teddy bear at the hotel. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Here he is. <gasps> is that Halo 3 rat? I thought you were gonna say, is that Remy from hit Disney Pixar film Ratatouille? Is that, is that, is that, is, is that a rat? <laughs> I was gonna say something else entirely, but my brain died. Also, who keeps nuking us from orbit? The Combine. It is the Combine. From Black Mesa. Health aid. <laughs> Health aid. They're Russian, don't worry about it. <laughs> Their letters are backwards anyways. That's a... That's a very 60s message. Oh, sick guitar. Wow. Why is that like the most detailed object in the whole game? <laughs> can you shoot? I bet you can. If you have <laughs> combine gunners. Here's the rifle. I thought you were gonna shoot, shoot her. her. I mean she asked. Ooh! What is it with Fancy. the these developers in World War II weapons? I mean they are like really cool and all, but uh, Yay! New Russian thing to be scared of. Betty Boop. This is... Betty Boop if... if she was a water molecule? <laughs> Alright. I see. That's like the most useless sniper scope ever. You didn't even kill the first dude, he's still there. Hey, at least this isn't a reskinned crossbow. What, Why what's am I getting burned? You? Oh, oh, they lit the building on fire. Seymour, the house is no. on fire. Teddy, get us out of here. She's in the door Go, opening animation. You oh. idiot. Go. <laughs> oh, wow, we are actually using a fire escape. Who uses a fire escape for escaping fires? I don't know. It's usually for sitcom people to go out and have meaningful thoughts. All right, where are you supposed to go? Uh, apparently to some kind of school. You're I'm going sure to these, night school these now. These fine gentlemen will elaborate further. What class Hello. you taking at night school? 
Future Farmers of America. I have my Future Farmers of America certificate. <laughs> Our, our Among Us video is like unironically good. Yeah, we got to the to the trend before it was cringe. Yeah, um, we got to it like a month before ah! everybody started doing videos on it. Like it was so it was so unpopular that when Dermy recommended we play it, none of us knew what it was. Yeah. We're like, what's Among Us? That was the first time we like all played Among Us. Do you have a license for that crack? I got my Future Farmers of America graduation certificate. Uh oh. 14 health. I was Mahogan gonna get out of this one. Quit game. <laughs> It'd be funny if the video just ended right there. <laughs> no outro or anything. Wow. Incorrect device operator. Automatic order is sending ionic mortar in the hands of an enemy. Perform mortar destruction. What does this mean? That means you're about to blow up if you don't get off the roof. Bye. Wow, that was like an action movie moment. That was like Will Smith escaping the exploding house with the cat and iRobot, only it's you with a teddy bear. If you are here and you can hear this, quick, run to the bar. <laughs> run to the bar, where's the bar? We gotta feed our alcoholism. It's like, run to the bar, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> About that beer I owed ya. Run to the bar. Oh look, the neon sign lit up. Where is the bar? It's right there. It says bar. It's blinking. How do I get there? By running to it. Get to the bar. Your life depends on it. If you do not ingest alcohol, your body will cease functioning. <laughs> He's just standing there holding up. It's not even a megaphone. It's just <laughs> a... There's no technology involved in this. There's no technology, period. The Combine stole all of it. Including the megaphone? Including the megaphones and the electric guitars. Alright, your turn. Have you seen those drop rockets? Looks like a new weapon. I think Overwatch is gonna drop an ultimatum on us. What? <laughs> I, I read the full subtitles and even I don't know what he's saying. Mail 07, he got sunburn. Oh dear, what's <laughs> thumbnail? <laughs> Very positive reviews. <laughs> PCV armor ready for use. You look like the mafia from Hat in Time. I'm just saying. Wow, it's an entire armor ready for use. Oh, now we can charge it, and it light up now. It's a show. And it's faster to charge than in Half-Life 2 because they're accommodating for the new attention spans. And that's why this game has positive reviews. That's the only reason it has positive reviews. 10 out of 10, the suit charges faster. I saw the one comment on Genry's Great Escape. It was like, I can't believe you guys recorded this when Swelter just came out. I'm like, responded in my head like I normally do when I see those kinds of comments. What the heck is Swelter? You know, it's like when it's really hot out. You are correct. And you get hot. Because it's hot. Ninth form English, tenth form English. I didn't know there were multiple forms. I didn't either, and I've been speaking it my whole life. What form do you speak, though? What form I do you speak? I don't know, I thought there was just the one. I thought there was just one. I, s I speak one English. <laughs> we can disable the shield if we put it out of normal mode. It's not. If we put it out of normal mode. Hold up. I think this is. I think. Okay. You know how we were saying there's like 50 million different Arctic mods that's hard to keep track of which is which? Yeah. I think this is the dude from Arctic Adventure. Not, not Snowdrop Escape. I think this is the voice actor from. Arctic Adventures, which is the one with the snowmobile, and he's like, his eyes lit up whenever we turn the flashlight on. Are we establishing a canon among the different Half-Life mods? Yep, this is all one universe. By the way, Gorgon, 
The mall, the mall, the wall will just magically implode the second you get near it. <laughs> Close three valves of the server cooling system for emergency reboot. Oh. Wait, why do the valves, why do the valves control, oh, the cooling system, okay. Yeah, we're trying to make it swelter. Oh, you see? I hope they, I it hope they say together. it. I hope I they hope say they the si title. Yes. Gotta make the server swelter. We don't want the Combine playing on their Minecraft server anymore. No, no, no. It's too good for their morale. This is how we take down the Combine Empire. We destroy their Minecraft server, they lose all their morale, they lose all will to live, and they're easier to kill. It's playing bad music. That's how you know that oh. the, the stakes are very high. They have Matrix Pillars. I said Matrix on accident. I totally meant to say Matrix. It was a completely natural chimeraism. Exactly. I'm just in my element. It's it's the Matrix. The Matrix is virus so they can not control the people they anymore. R -r -r Grenade in there. Look at me using clues on the map. Oh, it's a good thing you didn't mistake it for something else, like fire extinguisher in my defense i thought the fire extinguisher would would be helpful in that one mod an overcharged was it overcharged yeah it was it was also in arctic adventures i don't think we used it in that mod either why does that guy like the fire extinguisher because the guy that made overcharged is the same guy that made arctic adventure and they both of those mods had a useless fire extinguisher in it get launcher one second, please. All right, time to tussle. Oh, Come that on. was quirky, funny action movie moments. That could have been like, like in a Kayano Reeves movie. Kayano. Kayano. Kayano Reeves. <laughs> it's like that guy that had that Vine series of just purposely mispronouncing everything. Oh yeah. Cross dead Falakis. Gotta plug back in. Oh, is so this a puzzle Teddy. segment? It is a puzzle segment. This is Hold a on. certified portal moment. Sure. Have you ever watched the movie Equilibrium? Uh, no. It's it's like if you took Half-Life 2 and combined it with The Matrix, that's what Equilibrium is. Turret control. There we go. Let me out. You gotta plug it into door control if you want out. But I just turned off turret control. Why do the Combine have the most, like, obtuse system of just, here, we have a plug dangling from the ceiling. Oh, plug yeah, it into it's whatever hard. socket you want to, for, like, whatever machine you want to currently use. 36! 36! <laughs> okay. Is that going to have any significance to the game? Probably not. It's just one of those things, you know. You just get the urge one day to make graffiti that says 36 because it's your favorite number. If you have a favorite number, you got to make it something that's better than 36. <gasps> you made Please. me drop Teddy! 36! It's even funnier the second time. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I thought the antlions were a really cool enemy, and now they just annoy me. I feel like that's the reaction that most people have had to antlions. Puzzle? Puzzle time. Oh. oh wait, can I just hit it? Am I tall enough? Yes, uh, I am. Yeah, but also you're standing underneath a washing machine. <laughs> eh. Washing machine never hurt nobody. That's completely false. Name one person that's been killed by a washing machine. I don't know anybody. Exactly. But in the entirety of human history, I think it's safe to assume you that someone has no... been... If somebody's been injured by a falling piano before, I think it's safe to assume that a washing machine is possible. It all depends on context. You have no real evidence, so therefore, it is not true. 
Let me Google it real quick. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that invested into winning this argument. <laughs> Dang, that was a lot of arm work. I'm gonna need to sit down for a minute after that. So how's your life? Your entire life from beginning to end. Tell me all about it. Uh, you're gonna run out of disk space before I hit year one. <laughs> you remember that far back? I have a photographic memory. At least they didn't use default Half-Life 2 skybox textures. Yeah. Or default Half-Life 2 cars. I think maybe one reason why this mod is so highly rated is because it actually uses things that aren't vanilla Half-Life 2. Wow, you've played Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I thought that was Leon for a second, and I was like, no, not again! <laughs> what are these instructions? How to treat a burn victim? You give them a blanket. <laughs> if the stop, drop, and roll doesn't work, then yes. Gotta tuck him in for Betty by time. Here go, Timothy. Thanks. Vitamin gel. Stop shaking. Oh! Terrin. Okay. Bye. I guess. What? <laughs> I thought it went that way. How did. Okay. Agent? You've come to a wrong camp at a wrong time. You come to a wrong camp at a wrong time. <laughs> You! <laughs> Don't stand in front of generator. You will have your shoulder punctured, your blood will turn orange, and you will die. I bet you didn't know I knew Russian this whole time. My turn. My turn. Me when I'm anime character. The entire okay. Metal Gear franchise is just a glorified anime with realistic graphics changed my mind. That's a perspective. It's the only perspective. That thing's friggin' weird. Not gonna lie, the Metal Gear franchise freaks me out. There's just this weird quality about it that's, like, disturbing. Konami <laughs> does that to people. What's more legendary, the E3 2010 Konami conference or Bill Clinton is my the orthodox Bill Clinton Jewish guy. rabbi? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm gonna say the Bill Clinton guy just because Konami was actually supposed to be there. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. We're in the city. Are you sure you can do it? Living in the middle of this river is like living in the middle of a sea, surrounded by tons of undrinkable water. Even fish has metal aftertaste. It's worse than Nutri paste. Frankly speaking, there was no strong reason for us to take off. We just wanted to keep living in the house where we'd lived before the war. But we can't go back to the city. Back in the day, we would have been pardoned for running away. But now, since there's mutiny. Why did she just decide to tell us her entire life story the second yeah, we I, walked in? Yeah, we didn't in. ask for this. <laughs> what? Who? What? What? Can I disconnect him from life? <laughs> no. Why are you holding him upside out? All the blood's rushing to his head. He's gonna get dizzy. What blood? This thing. On. I can't believe you wasted a 357 bullet. Get over. What oh, maybe you have to throw a brick. I have to throw a brick. Okay. You jump Stop throw. With the... I thought that was wait. Oh, that is a box of shoes. I thought it was a a box of grenades that I mistook for a box of shoes. Oh, maybe throw throw a shoe at the thing. I'm desperate for anything at this point. I bet you that's the answer. I bet you anything that's the answer. All right. Aha, I was right! 
I still want to know why that guy just had a heart attack while he was dangling his briefcase. Yeah, out the that window. didn't really make sense. Move up, okay. Hey, below, move up. Well, I should have met you on the outdoors, but now there are so many sandbugs. On the outdoors. You better take this device. It'll make your journey a lot easier. Oh, hey, look, it's the beta no, don't gravity. Stand gun. on Teddy. So this is the beta. What? Gravity, Gravity gun. gun, but it's like remastered. It actually looks kind of good. Sit there. Are you giving him a nap? Turning off the fan. Why would you do that? They're gonna die of swelter now. You need to heal. I'll throw you a health kit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why are you talking to us like we're five? Oh, we're holding a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> he lied. Okay. He busy right now. Did you say busy? Oh, do we get to take Teddy on road trip? Now does he stay? Somewhat. As long as we don't go too fast. You just gotta keep that in mind. Did he tell us where we're going? Nope. Teddy, why are you all the way back there? Ah! Ah! Okay. This also reminds me of the later chapters of Thunder's Leaves, which you didn't get to experience because I played it alone. Did you fall out? No. Yes, yes. you did. You lied. I didn't see. <laughs> well, why'd you answer then? Because I didn't think he did. I don't know how you could tell that he fell out. Is that noise whenever we run? It is. Oh. I thought that was you breathing into your microphone this entire time. What? <laughs> okay. Be careful. He oh, stayed he in with that, but just normal driving he falls out. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Teddy? What is the... What is the goal here? Uh, I think we're still supposed to be finding the bad boy rebels, and we're still okay. You're dry you're going a little, you're going a little bit too crazy already. <laughs> it's been 0 0.3 seconds since your turn started. He's almost fallen out six times. He's fine. He likes my driving. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I keep getting jump scared by by hanging. Uh, they my cow. Hey, that guy sounded real. He didn't sound like a mod voice actor. He actually sounded like a Half-Life 2 NPC. <laughs> oh, Adidas. I love how every Russian mod there always has to be at least one guy in Adidas. My advice to you, don't mess with the resistance. Okay, what am I supposed to do with the gear that's in here? I think you break the boxes open first. Ugh. Was there anything even in that? No. <laughs> like, they just you gave you empty gave boxes. Empty boxes. Why are there so many ant lions? Because sand. Out of all the enemies in Half Life, I think ant lions are the most annoying. With head crabs being a second. So I die. think the the creative choice of making a Half Life Two mod based entirely in a desert, where every single piece of sand is infected with antlions is not a very good idea for a fun gameplay loop. Very positive reviews. <laughs> oh. Let me in. Come here if we'd known there were so many bugs. All right. So we'll help you to pass through. I like how everybody talks to you like you're R2 or Lassie in this mod. Yeah. Like you just walk up and they're like, what's that? Billy's stuck in the well? Oh, I'll no. help you. But we have to work together. Now it just looks like we're in Africa. Probably because of the safari grass and uh, roots. And trees and open plains. And rocks. I'm a geographist. You're just looking at things you can see. That's what science is. What? What's what's happening? Why is this happening to me? Am I doesn't matter. A... Just find Teddy before. Was that 
what we needed to do. I don't know. I just thought maybe injecting myself with, with health would do something. I mean, it apparently give, it worked. It didn't even give me health, so I don't know. But it stopped the scary, the scary screen thumps. Very yeah. helpful. Lock. Oh, that... They could have put it on this wall, pointing <laughs> there, but no, they point towards the crack. Today's security code is 724. Comrades, your vigilance is the safety of the whole commune. <coughs> what the... what? That's a broom made out of broom. <laughs> This broom is made out of broom. It's probably a Russian thing. It's like when we were making fun of the slab of rotten pork in the hospital and Snowdrop Escape, and then a bunch of Russians were like, That's. <laughs> and it's smoked pig fat. Well, when you put it that way, it sounds less appetizing. <laughs> it doesn't actually show the whole. I think I just got the car stuck. I did indeed get the car stuck. Ah! You knocked Teddy <laughs> out of the car. It like built up all the kinetic force over time as it was stuck and it just unleashed it all at once. Oh, not this again. It's either 786 or 789. I thought it was 74 or something. It might be, I don't know. I, I know seven... the first one is 7. Oh, 724. Okay. Ah! At least Submit. we both knew the first digit was 7. Submit energy to the game. I thought you said you had a photographic memory. What did you remember? I got that? it at a glance. I didn't have a good enough look <laughs> at it to get it in my memory. Cut back to the moment where I was staring at it for a good, like, four solid seconds. You act like I was paying attention at that moment. <laughs>